wrestling is at the heart of HEMA, historical martial arts. And if you're serious about it, you should definitely try and study wrestling. Hello there, Martin here from Schildwache Potsdam. And this is a little advertisement video, so to speak, that, well, swords are very sexy, and I'll agree to that fact, Historical martial arts aren't just swords, it's more than this. And the basic foundation, especially in the earlier sources, is wrestling. And wrestling not only unarmed, but also with the dagger, okay? So these two actually go hand in hand. And my point in this video is that wrestling not only is fun in itself, of course, but it also makes your sword fighting a lot better. S small example. Wrestling is great at teaching you basic body mechanics, how to be stable and when not, and how to generate force out of any position you can get in. To simplify, we have a base defined by all the points of ourselves that reach the ground. So basically with two feet, this is a square. As long as the center of the mass is within this square, you don't need to move. But if the center of mass gets moved outside of this square, you will need to move or you will fall. Of course, you can usually utilize contact points with your opponent as well, as they are usually connected to the ground as well. But this gets more complicated quickly and is much easier explained in motion than with words. The other bit is about generating force. Of course you could always just push your opponents away, but in the meantime you would push yourself away as well. So you usually want to generate movement forward and that involves pushing off the ground to get you forward. right? And your body in that case is just a huge lever and how you form an angle and how stiff the, this lever is uh -huh. uh, plays a huge role. So case in study, this slight forward lean we see in a lot of uh, sources like 133 Fabrice, but also to a lesser extent in many other sources like in the Bolognese ones, is not only good in the case of you want to deny your opponent the lower openings and gain a bit more reach, but it also is great to just absorb and build up pressure forwards. Okay, since I now have outlined some very basic benefits of training wrestling, let's get to training mythology. You might ask, well, how do you train Fiora? He doesn't teach you playful wrestling, he teaches you to wrestle in a way that breaks your opponent. And it's no coincidence that he shows you the arms of the opponents that he has broken. And yes, you're right. I do everything I can to keep my partners, my training partners safe to the extent that I might not get that technique, I might not get that submission. But also I keep my training partners for the next exercise. Because I think accumulating training time is much more important than doing the thing at maximum intensity all the time. Don't get me wrong, wrestling especially can be really intense while being still really safe. This is just really a benefit of the sport. But you also want to have some fun, right? Learning is best done in an environment where you have fun, where you like to learn. So keep it fun, keep it simple and stick to these principles even if you might not learn how to defend yourself in the streets. You still learn how to work yourself from position to position, getting out of disadvantageous positions, getting new lessons and accumulating training time under your belt, which will be certainly useful if you ever find yourself in a situation of self-defense. Of course, you should be always honest about what you do. You'll get out of your training what you put in. 
So if you're getting overconfident by your training because you're lying to yourself, then that overconfidence might actually reduce your chances of survival because you're not paying so much attention to preventing any self-defense situation anymore, right? So just always remember that prevention is better than defending. That doesn't invalidate any training approach that focuses on the fun of wrestling. And I would actually highly encourage for most HEMA clubs to just do wrestling for fun because it is a lot of fun and you learn a lot of things on the way. So here's a question for you. Would you like a full commentary of a wrestling sparring action? Leave a comment down below. So I hope I could uh, convince some of you to consider wrestling in their weekly or even daily practice. And I hope this video was useful to you. Until next time, take care and ciao.